Welcome to Hello Barnet. On today's program, we're joined by Andrew Bindi, Center Hub Lead for the West Hendon Community Center. He walks us through their diverse range of programming, and we're thrilled to have Adonica Simmons here with us again from Global Style Services. Today, she's brought with her a range of scarves, and we're going to try our hand at tying them. Enjoy! We are here today with Andrew Bindi, the Center Hub Lead for the West Hendon Community Hub. This is really exciting. So can you tell us a little bit about the West Hendon Community Hub and perhaps why they're offering these employability programs? Yes, absolutely. Um, the West Hendon Community Hub was set up in 2016 um, by Barrett and Metropolitan, a joint venture, um, BMLLP, um, predominantly to support residents whilst they're going through um, the regeneration and they're going through various phases of the redevelopment. We do realize that uh, most residents are going through challenges and, very, and facing various barriers during these transitions. So the community hub is there, was, was set up to encourage uh, residents to continue to uh, develop themselves uh, and and also engage in, in well-being activities, employment activities, um, as the development goes on. Um, why employability? Well, you know, residents need to be self-sufficient and we've identified employment as one of the main things that help people to be self-sufficient, able to pay the bills, able to run the day-to-day -day family affairs. And so, what we do is run training programs, run well-being programs, activities for families as well as uh, young people and, and residents of, of the estate. And that's proved, gone really well and proved really successful over the last year. What is the feedback you're getting? What is sort of um, the information that you're receiving? And what are some of the really specific types of programs that you are developing? Yeah, the the programs we are we are looking at and, and trying to develop are those which actually get people into into work. So, for instance, uh, in the last year, we've run three lots of CSES program. That's the construction program, and out of that, we've got uh, out of those three cohorts, we've had about twenty one young people through the program. And of that, four of those individuals are working within the regeneration sites. Um, that's a real good case study because uh, often what you get is people talking about uh, jobs being taken away from residents. Well, here we have a typical program where we're delivering for residents, residents have attended, but all, not only have they gained a qualification within the industry, they're working within the site, they're being part of the development. What are you most proud of? I can say a lot of stuff, uh, uh, but but I think I think one thing I can actually um, put my hand up and say I'm really proud of is the the number of individuals who have come through our health and social care and child care program. When we started this um, early last year, um, we had about five candidates seen. And it wasn't enough for us to deliver the program because we had a minimum of six in order to make it, um, you know, uh, you know, deliverable by, by the, the provider. Um, so we went back to the drawing board and said, right, okay, we we got to do a couple of things to promote it and make sure that you know residents do want this, otherwise we're not going to deliver it. So we went back and we talked to residents, and and indeed uh, the first cohort that we had, we, we managed to get seven individuals registered. And off that, uh, we've run three lots of programs. The residents who have taken part in this have actually, I mean, I've referenced some of, some of their, I've been a reference for, for, for some of these individuals. They've actually gone into work. These were people who have been um, parents, uh, they've not been able to, to get into work because of childcare. Um, the first opportunity that they had, they managed to put themselves out there and, and, and take the challenge. It was a big plunge because some of them have never done this sort of courses before. And uh, I think for us, we got the right partner, um, we had the right tutor, and it all just pulled together. And we, we've got the right candidates as well, I should say, because residents were all ready to learn, put 
all the effort in to, to get the qualification. So I'm quite, yeah, proud about that, not only because they've earned a qualification and most of them, you can see typically from the award ceremony we had um, a month or so ago, the, 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 the looks in their face, how proud they were to, to have actually achieved something. But not only that, they've actually moved on some of them into employment. So that's one thing that really stands out for me. The community hub has been a blessing in disguise for residents in the, in the sense that they've seen the hub as a one-stop shop where to come in, ask questions, feel free to talk about any issues whatsoever, um, issues which we cannot deal with, we can pass on, um, even when it comes to construction work. I think we've seen it as the, the you know, sort of like the pinnacle of the, the, the estate. And it's a good thing for us. It, it, it is um, indeed uh, a responsibility to carry that. But I think we're proud of that because we are bringing satisfaction to a lot of residents who otherwise were not satisfied, otherwise had a lot of, um, you know, complaints. Now, I think people are settling in nicely. If people have got questions, they know where to come. Uh, and if we're not able to help directly, we're able to point them to the right direction. So, so yeah, I, I think that, uh, that the, the community hub is doing pretty well and I'm really proud of, of all the stuff we're doing right now. Well, your passion for it certainly shows, and it sounds like an incredibly vibrant space. So, Andrew, thank you so much for taking the time to come in and speak with us at Hello Burnet. Not at all. Thank you very much. Welcome, Adonica. What have you brought for us today? Today, Bridget, I've brought with me a number of colourful scarves. We're moving from the end of summer into autumn. It's time to wrap up. So let me show you three really easy ways to tie your scarf, which is great for men and women. So the traditional way to wear your scarf is literally just to loop it around your neck. But sometimes the scarf is a little bit too long. So my trick is literally to tie a small knot at the bottom. This will shorten the scarf easily. Okay, like so. And then when you throw it over your shoulder, that adds a little bit of weight to keep the scarf in place because sometimes you see people walking down the road and the scarf is flying everywhere. So the knot is a really good trick. It actually looks fantastic as well. Thank you. How do you wear yours? You know what, I think I'm just a traditional over the neck and a knot. Yeah, nice and easy. That's pretty much how we're all taught to wear our scarves at school. But let's do the upgrade. So if you hang the scarf down both sides. Always love an upgrade. And then wrap one side round and then the other side round. This should give you quite a chic little look. And if the strings at the front are too long, simply tie them in a knot. That way, all of your chest is could be really nice and warm and look super chic and stylish. I love it. Fab. Now, where can people get these scarves? So I bought these scarves in Brink Cross. Uh, the one that you're wearing is from Zara. And this one is from Jules, which I think I bought in Phoenix. Fabulous. Thanks so much for coming in, Adonica. I thought that was really great. It was informative, it was interesting, it was fun, and it's actually something that our viewers can do at home and they can sort of integrate into their winter style. So thank you. Thanks for having me, Bridget. And thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Hello Barnet. It was great to have Andrew Bindi here with us today from the West Hendon Community Centre. And it was so fantastic to have you, as always, Adonica. I think we learned a thing or two about styling scarves. Until next time.